World Cup fan frenzy. Some of the best teams are out, and one of the favorites, Mexico, is moving forward. We have team coverage for you. We're going to start with Jasmine Veal. She's at a watch party in Koreatown. Cheers and applause erupted inside this Mexican restaurant in Koreatown. The moment these fans learned their team will advance to the next round of the World Cup. I'm really like, I'm Mexican. This despite Mexico's three to nothing loss against Sweden. Germany remained scoreless against North Korea, so it secured Mexico a spot in the round of 16. Thanks to Korea. We have to thank Korea. All sorts of emotions played out across people's faces early on at this World Cup watch party. I mean, this is a pretty fast game. I mean, I mean, you've seen us. I mean, we're going back and forth, back and forth. So it's going to be just like that every time. I mean, it's just like a heart pumping situation for like 90 minutes. So that's where I mean, we're in it for the thrill and it's it's just going to be another 80 minutes of this. Doors opened here at 5 a.m. The crowd grew so large it was standing room only inside. A TV was set up outside on a van for people waiting in line to get in. I'm here with my family and we're hoping to get a table, but I don't think we're going to get a table at all. At Plaza Mexico in Linwood, another huge watch party was underway. Thankfully, we did it, and you know, it was a bad game, but you know, we did some pretty good two games, so they deserve to be in the second round. Back in Koreatown, the excited but exhausted fans left knowing their team could still go all the way. Tough, tough battle, but we made it somehow, some way. You can see the crowds from this morning have cleared out of here, but this restaurant is still so pumped about Mexico's win. I heard rumors that they're even offering free beer to anyone who comes in here wearing a South Korean jersey. Here in Koreatown, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.